Hi right, guys, welcome to another night's shed. Don't know where to begin really. It's been a very, very relaxing week. I've had fantastic weather. You know, hot for June, hot for end of May, start of June, really nice. Um, I've had a great time, really relaxing and really, really doing what the fuck I want basically. So it's been really good. Um, Got down to our K Club as you know in my last my last show episode. Um, and yesterday I managed me and my daughters managed to get up to Blackpool and just to see the sea. It was fantastic, it was absolutely baking, you know. Fair play, you know, you know, the Northwest tourism thing is not that great. It tends to focus on Blackpool, but it, don't be wrong, it was busy. It was absolutely rammed. You know, you you couldn't even walk by. When we were coming back around three, four o'clock, you couldn't even walk down, uh, not the prom, but the other side of the prom where all the shops are, and the Coral Island amusement arcades and all that. But we went in there, it was, I've never seen it as busy in my life. In my life, you know what I mean? That's how busy it was. It was, it was hectic, but I'm not gonna lie, guys. It felt great. It felt great to see people having a good time and there was no dickheads. You know what I mean? It was fantastic. Everyone just like, I'm having a good time, don't ruin it. You know, and it was like, we policed ourselves. It was brilliant. Um, but the heat was, honestly, I mean, I'm supposed to be in Florida right now. I'm supposed to be in Florida. That just went through the window and I won't go into it. I probably mentioned it before anyway, but yeah, that never happened. But honest to God, when we look, about three o'clock, we came out of Coral Island. Oh my God, it was, it reminded me of being, you're gonna laugh, it reminded me of being in Florida. Um, on International Drive, that's what it reminded me, the heat, it was just ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so it was fantastic, we had a great time. And uh, yeah, today's a bit of a chill out day. You know, I cut my grass, did all the usual, you know. Supposed to be doing a bits and bobs in the house but you know I did a, I did, a, did a minimum I did a minimum and uh, I've got my creative head on and I've been thinking about my t-shirts and stuff like that and design and, and what I'm gonna draw or, or do now I'm actually on something now um, but I've not looked at it the past couple of days I've, I've, I've just, it's been too nice the weather to be cooped up sat on a, a Mac and that so I'll um, I'll probably jump on late one night and, and have a bit of a bit more of a doodle on that but yeah, so I've been enjoying my Xbox uh, that I got off Eddie, Roller Core. Um, fantastic, uh, you know, and I've been playing Mech Assault and Mech Assault 2. Uh, guys, I know we're all getting back into the Xboxes and stuff like that. I've seen it everywhere at the minute. I don't know why, it's just, it's almost gone full circle. And great minds think alike, what can you say? But guys, if you've not got the Mech Assaults, you know, you've got to get them. It's just firepower. It's Call of Duty in robots. It's Grand Theft Auto in robots. It's just good action packed. Brrr, blow them all up. You know, it's it's fantastic. Flattening buildings. You've got to get on it. You've got to get on it, guys, because, uh, you know, forget your, uh, I don't know, what's the main games on the, I've got Soul Calibur, which I showed them. I've not been off it. I've also been, Going spectrum mad bidding on stuff left, right, and centre. I, I don't even know if I've won anything. I don't even know if I've won anything. I bidded on some VHS today, um, and I've, I've only just checked a minute ago, and I didn't. I thought I had it. I thought I had three really good VHSs for three quid, two pound postage, two pound eight three postage. It'd have been five pound off for these three fantastic VHSs. But I've got a pretty good feeling that they're going to be coming back on again. I, I, I think the guy just bidded on his own stuff and they'll be, they'll be coming back on. That's what's been happening. Things are too expensive. It's too expensive. eBay is the volume game. That's that's the bottom line. So, um, yeah, so basically it's pickups. It's pickups, but I've got a little... Give them a twist, a flick of the wrist. That's what the showman said, and that's what's coming up in a bit. But first, I'm going to show you my pickups. Okay. So, again, I've got something coming that I'll probably do a special on. Um, it's not arrived as yet. And there is... There was something else as well. 
Evil Dead 2 turned up. We did that, didn't we, in the last one? But moving on. So it's a music magpie. I've not bought anything off them in ages. You know, I spent the grand total of about six, seven quid here. So it's a music magpie. And they're smashing it out of the park, aren't they? Though that clerk's two I bought didn't fucking work. Yeah, didn't work. The second disc did, but the movie disc didn't. So, this is gonna be Clerks 2 again. And this probably will be fucked as well. <laughs> Clerks 2. So, yeah, the last one didn't work. Um, I've not even contacted, normally if you contact Music Magpie, they just send it you out, they don't even want it back. You just send it, you don't mess about them guys. They're pretty good like that. And I forgot to do it. I ordered it, I thought, oh, I need that, bought it, and I thought, I could have just told them they just sent me that for nothing. So, Clerks 2. Um, and then this, I've been after for a, a long, long time, and it is expensive. In fact, a lot of the time, you can only get it in America. It's only available in America, um, which is kind of surprising. It was a massive film here, and um, all-star cast, and... For some reason, it just became gold dust, and I've seen this going for 20 quid, and I couldn't believe it on a sort of music magpie. It's DVD, it's not Blu-ray. Uh, I, I did want it on Blu-ray, really, and that is, get the thing out, it's jammed. There we go. Set it off. I don't know if any of you remember that. Jada Pinkett, Queen Latifah, Navisha Fox, I can't remember which the other girl's name. Uh, Kimberly Elise. That's it. But it's a really good heist movie. Um, really good. I don't know if any of you remember it. I remember it being pretty big, and I wasn't, uh, and, I, and I was pleasantly surprised at how good it was. Uh, but yeah, set it off. I paid £3.83 for this. Now, this is normally. Even on DVD, 15 quid. No word of a lie. And I just opened it up, I just noticed it's a little bit tarnished. It better play, that's all I'm going to say, because Music Magpie are getting two films back, and they can, well, they're sending me two new films. So, yeah, set it off. And this is just great action. You know, a young Jada Pinkett in there. You know, it probably was a good few years after Menace to Society. But it's a really good film. Um, and I can see why it was, uh, it's quite expensive to buy. So that'll be getting watched this weekend. Been catching, been, I've actually made a, a conscious effort to watch all my movies that I've been buying. I'm, I'm buying and buying and buying. And I've watched all my DVDs. I'm moving on to my VHSs. I've been buying bits of VHS here and there. I've started watching. The only problem I've got is, for some reason, I had, I don't know guys when I said I fell out the loft at Christmas, right? Okay, and I really, I really effed myself up pretty bad. I was in a bit of a state. And um, I, I was actually in the loft getting the power lead for my VHS. So, when the accident happened, I put the lid back on the loft and whatnot, and uh, that was that. The, I, I worked up there, I had to go up into the loft, repair my ladder, which is solid, but it's, it needs something needs sorting on it again. So when I'm going up it again, even though it's perfectly safe, my bottle's gone because I, I really messed myself up when I fell out of the loft that time. And I went back up, grabbed what I needed, which was the power lead for my VHS. Brought it down, come to find my VHS up the other day. Can I find this fucking wire? I can't find it anywhere. It is gone. I'm a bit worried it was in a bag that I just thought was rubbish and I've binned it. But, you know, it's only a 13 amp do, but I can find another one. But it's just the fact that I had it and it was like the one that came with it. And it's like, you know, because it's getting on a bit, I don't want to knacker the thing. But anyway, so. Yeah, I moved stuff around. I don't know what happened. I actually don't know what happened, but we'll get that sorted. 
So, uh, yeah, so I've not been able to catch up on my VHS, which is what I really want to start doing. I'm going to watch every single one of these VHS before, except ones I've seen already, before I start getting into multitudes of buying, buying films. So, yeah, my next pickup, and this is something I've been after a while. This is what got me looking. In here is what got me got looking for an Xbox, making me want an Xbox, right? And what got me wanting to look for an Xbox is because I was lo looking for a particular game that a couple of you guys had done posts on, probably last year, to be honest, on your Spectrums and on your Commodore 64s. And when I saw it, I thought, I've got to get it, but isn't there an arcade quality? Well, I loved it on the arcade, and I don't think I can settle for anything else other than Spectrum, but arcade is the one I wanted, and... Um, I couldn't believe it was on this disc, and I was talking at Arcade Club to Retro Red Steve, and we were both talking about this game, and I was saying how expensive this, this disc is, and blah, 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 and Retro Red Steve sent me a link, and it was out of my price range, I'm going to be honest with you, even what I paid for it is a bit more than what I would normally pay, but I thought, Mike, you've got the fucking Xbox, get the fucking game. So, um, Retro Red sent me a link, and he just, I just said, I said, oh, it's, it's still like 27 quid, and he said, make a cheeky offer. And uh, I thought, you know what, I will. And because I've sold on eBay, I know, I always think cheeky bastards when anyone makes a cheeky offer, because I always thought what I was selling was at the right price. What they were selling at us was a, was a fair price, considering the, the, the game's gone up, but... Uh, I took his advice and I won it. I got it for 20 quid. Um, and straight away, as we all do, we should have thought, okay, I should have done it for 15. But I got it. I got the thing. I'd seen it for 11 and I got it for 20. You know, I'd seen it for 11 four months ago. And it's as soon as everyone starts looking at Xbox, Xbox prices go. That's, I'm starting, so you guys already know this, but I'm starting to learn this how eBay interacts with YouTube and pricing and whatnot. So, the scissors. And the game is <clears throat> Tecmo Classic Arcade. And there's some absolute belting games on there. But the game I bought this for is Bomb Jack, guys not on it uh, bomb jack <laughs> what a game what a nostalgic game even at arcade club i tried playing it and you know i don't have a clue i couldn't remember how to play it but i've not played it in that long uh the controls are really weird so once i've got it on me xbox i'll figure it all out it might have been the cabinet it was in at the arcade club but yeah and that is in banging condition tecmo classic arcade it's got the manual, it's complete. This looks in good nick. And it's just full of goodness. So I'm really pleased with that. Techno Classic Arcade. Exclusive Xbox. So it might be a European release, actually. Yeah. Oh, shit. Not like it'll matter, but it's just like... Yeah, so it's got on there, on that disc, there's Rygar, um, <clears throat> Tecmo Bowl, uh, Strato Fighter, which I didn't even know was on there, Swimmer, Pinball Action, yes, there's a pinball game, because the typeface, if you ever designed that cover, wants to kick up the ass, they really do. Um, played, played it, I don't even know what that says. Solomon's Keys, Techno Cup, Senjo. So basically there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven games on there, three of which are fantastic, and I got that for 20 golden coins, 2183 golden coins with postage. So that was a good buy. Thanks Retro Red Steve for being on the ball with that and uh, sorting my head out, but yeah, that's great. So, that's me pickups. Space pilot Hagen, sir. Sir, 
space pilot John Lee. And I'm Barry Hercules, Doc. Last, a couple of shows back, I don't, I don't know if you even remember, um, I was talking about when I get to 200 subs, I'm going to do a giveaway, okay? And um, a guy messaged me um, from SLR Mod Shop and basically said, um, look, I've got some merchandise I can give you to put in your auction and it's basically um, stuff that is it's fine, it's useful and you can use it in your auction, you can do what you want with it as long as it's going to the video games Not the, I mean I'm into anything but as long as it goes out to the video gaming community or the YouTube community I'm not too, all within this sort of encompassing um, umbrella uh, but I'm, let's just say video gaming I'm confusing the situation um, he said it you're welcome to um, give it away and I was like wow you sure and he says yeah I've got all this stuff and it, I was when he showed it me it was absolutely quite unbelievable and he said but bear in mind I'm not a collector I'm a mod I'm a, a mod guy I mod it he's got a shop SLR mod shop on Twitter if you're on Twitter he's got a website SLR mod shop and I can't remember if he's on Instagram um, and he's kind, kindly, kindly um, donated this stuff, and he's basically said, "Look, I'm not dumping all my shit on you. It's 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 all working equipment, and if you want to give it away, as long as it goes to the community, you know, I'll be more than happy." So I couldn't plug his his his, his store more. Actually, when I checked his store out, it was you know uh, he's really good actually he's got some really nice stuff if you want to buy any consoles off him or um he's a very technical guy actually that goodwin's place um kind of reminds me of, of that that sort of um setup really so really interesting so that's slr mod shop now i'm going to do more on this but first of all i'm going to i'm going to show you the box the box he sent me so i couldn't believe it to be honest with you but you know, we're talking, we're talking this type of thing and it, it weighs a fucking ton. So, here it is. And in there, uh, there is a lot, and I mean a lot, of uh, goodies. So, these, this stuff in here, I'm actually gonna, you know, I'm gonna give it away. He said, you know, do as you will. But I'm, this is gonna be a giveaway. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. Um, but it needs a little bit of thinking about, but I've got a bit of a way till I get to 200 subscribers. So, you know. Um, so, without further ado, let's just crack this bad boy open. And in here, you'll see, actually, what am I doing? Guys, I think we're gonna have to wait till we get to 200 subscribers till we uh, start looking through bloody big boxes like this. But let me have a think and how we're gonna do it. But uh, yeah, stay tuned. So I'm gonna put this bad boy back on there. I'm gonna give a big thank you to SLR Mod Shop and you'll find him on YouTube, you'll find him on Twitter, and you'll also find him, I'm sure he's on Instagram, and if I need to put him on there. Um, yeah, so a big thank you to him, that's SLR Mod Shop. And guys, for now, that's me signing out. And stay tuned to Mike Shed. <laughs>